Sí, ya empiezo. Eh, ¿Qué onda, Covacheros? ¿Cómo están? Yo soy Spike y aquí tenemos al señor Civi Zabolsky, que es el cazatalentos de la Casa de las Ideas Marvel Comics. Y eh, voy, a, voy a primero hablar con él y después se los traduzco, ¿ok? How, how are you liking Mexico City so far? I love it. It's, I didn't know what to expect. I heard so much about it, good and bad. And the good has been just amazingly surpassed every expectation, and I haven't had a bad thing or a bad experience happen yet, so it's been wonderful. And how about Mexican artists? Uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised, you know? We have a lot of Mexican artists working at Marvel, but somehow the Mexican talent pool gets overlooked for some of the more profile higher, you know, countries like Canada or Italy. But coming down here, and I knew there was, I knew it was going to be a, a, a good amount of artists that I was going to meet that I was going to be impressed with. But the fact that almost every artist that Humberto and Luis and everyone selected for me to look at was almost Marvel ready was a, a surprising fact. Bueno, sí, mis amigos que nos dice que a pesar de que le habían dicho buenas cosas y malas cosas en México, él solo se ha encontrado una experiencia muy placentera y que está verdaderamente sorprendido con el talento que encuentra aquí, ya que la gente que le ha presentado Humberto, y la gente que le presentó Luis Gantuz y Pato, ha sido gente que ya está preparada para empezar a trabajar en cómics profesionalmente como en Marvel. This is a hard one, and it's because I'm a scriptwriter, and I know how, how business works. Why is it so hard for scriptwriters to, to bring out their uh, their work, I mean, it's, it seems that I, I feel like there's a wall, you know, because you're not an artist, you know, it's not as easy to come and show you something, and, right. uh, but like in Dark Horse Comics or Image Comics, there's an editor that reads pitches and, and sorts it out, you know, and at Marvel it seems like you need to be already big you know, to get in. You don't need to be big, you need to be good. And all our editors still read submissions, they still read uh, printed comics. We just can't read pitches for legal reasons, that's it, you know, but just, uh, uh, there's been many problems over the past that Marvel and DC have had with legal tanglings with you know new writers and pitches, and we're trying to avoid that. But the thing is that we are open to new writers. Next month we're debuting four new writers in online comics, which I'm very proud of. It's four guys who have came to us and proven themselves as writers in other markets, some in web comics, some in image comics, some in a foreign market, one guy from Croatia, who pitched us stories after proving themselves as good writers. So we're open to new writers. It's just a matter of it's harder to sit down and actually read something than look at a portfolio. Online writers? Online, new, four new writers online are going to debut starting in December, for the first okay. week of December. Okay. Más que nada, este, le pregunté acerca de por qué parece que hay una pared con los eh, escritores de guiones. Lo que pasa es que me dice que Marvel y DC han tenido muchos problemas legales con los pitches y han estado muchas demandas y eso. Aparte de que es muy difícil de sentarse a leer un guión en vez de ver el trabajo secuencial de un artista gráfico. Pero bueno, lo que nos está diciendo es que también Marvel va a estrenar a cuatro nuevos talentos, escritores, de hecho uno de Croacia que van a empezar a hacer cómics digitales para Marvel. Anyway, anything you want to say to the people in Mexico City? Uh, in Mexico Journal? In, uh, I love it here, and not just because I love to eat and I love to travel, but I'm generally touched by the people that I meet, in particular the Marvel Comics fans. The people that showed up today were wonderful. I think each and every one came here wanting to get something out of Marvel, and I hope they left with the fact that Marvel's open to everyone, be it as a fan or as a creator. You have to follow your dreams, and if you don't let your dreams die, just like the Marvel heroes rise above, anyone who wants to break into Marvel can do the same with enough willpower and with enough energy and with enough faith. So uh, my message to you is we hope to see more Mexican creators at Marvel, and you can do it. Bueno, no sé si lo entendieron o no, pero lo que, lo que dice Civi es que está muy, muy, este, como ya lo habíamos mencionado, encantado con su visita a México y que espera que Marvel haya dejado algo a la gente, en especial que sean puertas abiertas para que la gente le eche ganas y pueda entrar al medio, así como disfrutar el medio y todo el esfuerzo que hace Marvel para presentar buenas historias todos los meses. Para aquellos que leen Marvel Televiso, para aquellos que leen las ventas directas, Civi Zabolsky viene a México para checar el arte y lo que se hace y y como dijo en la conferencia, es muy probable que regrese, es más, hasta el próximo año. Entonces, cobacheros, nos estamos viendo, Civi Zabolsky. Muchas, muchas gracias. Es, es bien. Hasta luego.